Vandals hit a mountain ball field and now staff are scrambling to get ready for the spring season. News 13's Ashley Searles is live at the Henderson County Sheriff's Office. Ashley, deputies have increased patrols around Etowa Park. That's right, Darcel. Deputies here say they've beefed up patrols, hoping to stem what some here in Henderson County say has become a pattern. We got a phone call this morning. I, I received a phone call from Parks and Rec saying they knew our building was damaged. Brian Crisp says it looks like someone took a fence post and beat in the wall to get inside and grab the gear. They've taken the helmets, the chest protectors, and the shin guards. Um, with shipping and everything, probably about a $260 set of catching gear each. Um, being a nonprofit association, that, that really hurts. Vandals robbed Henderson County's Youth Softball League of hundreds of dollars worth of catching equipment, according to the league president. Playing as a catcher, when you're handed a brand new set of gear, it's like getting a new car. Volunteers fundraise to dress the hundreds of kids that play in this league, and a hit like this hurts. You know, to see that stuff being taken away, um, that just, uh, it does break my heart that that's uh, a situation that we've come to. There is uh, evidence that it is not possibly an adult that made their way in because of the size of the space that was there. Crisp says this is just the latest incident here at Etowa Park. He says vandals have repeatedly hit everything from the bathrooms to the press box to the batting cages over the last couple years. And there's only so much even officers can do. As soon as the sheriff's office pulls out of the parking lot, it's free reign again, you know, and, and if they have any sense, that's what they're waiting on. So uh, it is for the police not to be there. Now, at this point, the league still hasn't determined exactly how much gear was taken in this incident, but staff say it could be as much as $1,100. Reporting live tonight in Henderson County, I'm Ashley Searles, News 13.